Welcome to the Daily Word for Thy Kingdom Come Prayer Movement. Today's reading is from the Revelation to John, chapter three, verses seven to eight a. These are the words of the Holy One, the True One, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Look, I have set before you an open door. Which no one is able to shut. This is the word of the Lord. The God who gives free gift is one of the great promises of advertising. Even if it is something you don't need or don't want, the idea that it is free often holds a magnetic attraction. All through history. Many have promised God's favor, if only the worshipper will make certain sacrifices, perform particular acts, or travel to selected holy places. The Christian good news is utterly and wonderfully different. One of the best love verses in the whole Bible, John's Gospel, chapter three, verse sixteen, says, "This is how God loved the world; He gave His one and only Son." So that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God gives and gives and gives again. If we are Christians, we have received the greatest free gift in the world. We have been given eternal life in Jesus Christ, and we have done absolutely nothing to earn it or deserve it. We can rest. We can relax in the truth that it is not about what we do, but what God has done. Today's verse from Revelation is from the message to the church in the city of Philadelphia, in the modern-day Turkey. It was a great center of trade, where buying and selling was at the heart of everyday life. Jesus writes to give them another free gift. He assures them that they can rest in His character. He is not going to give them something that will do them harm, but rather a gift that will grow and develop the church. He is giving them an open door. Does that sound a strange gift? They might have preferred more answered prayers, more gifts of the Spirit. A closer sense of his presence, or a whole host of other things, what they get is an invitation to share Christ Himself with their friends, their culture, their city. Thy kingdom come is simply about praying, "Come, Holy Spirit," on the lives of people we know, perhaps just five people. So that they come to know the saving love of God in Lord Jesus, Christ tells us that He has opened the door. What we have to do is to go through it. Whenever we speak or act with God's love in our hearts for those around us, then we are going through the door that Jesus holds open. Sometimes we feel that our efforts. Will make need to or no difference. There is a humorous African prophet, which sets us right. It says, "If you think you are too small to make a difference, try spending the light with a mosquito." This prophet is real to me this week, as I am writing in Juba, in South Sudan, with many mosquitoes. As you continue to pray for your five friends, ask God to open more doors for you to share His word with other people, so that they come to have a personal knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us have a time of reflection. God has opened the gates of heaven by the salvation of Jesus Christ upon the cross. He has already given us freely this most precious gift. Are you truly thankful for this?
Have you ever thought that you are powerless in leading others in entering the gates of heaven? By the power of the Holy Spirit, think of ways to encourage your five relatives and friends that they could share with you in receiving this gift. Let us pray, merciful Father. Thank you for opening the gates of heaven for us by the salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you also open the gates to the hearts of my five relatives and friends, and lead me in sharing your way and your truth with them, that they may enter into deeper knowledge and a deeper relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. These we pray in the name of our Lord. Amen.